In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to link to a section on the same page using Google Sites, a fantastic tool for creating straightforward and efficient web pages without needing extensive coding knowledge. Whether you're building a portfolio, business site, or informative page, learning how to create these in-page links can significantly enhance the user experience by allowing visitors to jump directly to sections of interest. So let's dive right into the process. First, let's focus on setting up the button that will serve as your anchor link. On your Google Sites page, you need to locate and click on the button element. This element will act as the starting point, or essentially the portal, to your desired section. You might be thinking about how a button transforms into a link. It's all about the association we'll make between the button and your target section. Once you have your button selected, the next step involves naming it. Why is naming this crucial? It provides context for users clicking on the button and helps you maintain organization for when you're managing multiple links. Simply type in a meaningful name for your button, something that accurately reflects the content it will link to. Keep it concise yet descriptive to ensure clarity for your site visitors. Now that you have the button set up with a name, it's time to turn your attention to the linking mechanics. Click on the link option typically found in the customization or options menu of your button. This is where you will establish the relationship between your button and a specific section on the same page. It forms the invisible thread that navigates users from your button to your desired section seamlessly. As you click on the linking option, you'll need to select where exactly on the page you'd like this button to take your viewers. Here's a critical point. Determining the right destination is essential for providing a smooth user experience. You'll be presented with options that allow you to link to various sections or headings within the same page, so carefully choose the most relevant section. With your target section identified, the final step is to confirm your settings by clicking on Insert. This conclusive action embeds the link within your button, finalizing the setup of your in-page navigation. Remember, consistency is key, and testing its functionality by previewing your site can ensure everything runs smoothly for your users. And there you have it. You've now transformed a simple button into a dynamic navigational tool on your website. By following these steps, your site visitors can enjoy a streamlined browsing experience easily moving between different sections of your page with just a click. Thanks for tuning in today and I hope this tutorial empowers you to craft even more engaging and interactive pages on Google Sites. Keep exploring and optimizing your skills.